Welcome to yet another video about the 92 M3. Uh, again, um, a bit like our throttle actuator video we did recently. This one is covering another major issue with the E92 M3 or E90 M3 or E93. So a 65 engine unfortunately suffers with injector failures. There's a couple of theories about why this happens. I think probably in my mind, the most valid one is that the fuel filter that these car cars have is built into the fuel pump assembly and it's a lifetime filter. And over time, it seems whether that disintegrates internally or, or whatever, um, but basically debris gets into the fuel injectors, they stick open and then they wash all the oil off your bores and will basically destroy your engine with no warning. So it's quite a scary one, definitely not one to be um, overlooked. Obviously there are quite a few issues with these cars, but if you look after them, and um, do your research and, and fit the right parts, then you can't really go too wrong. They're actually quite a reliable car, um, touch wood. So what we're showing today is uh, we're gonna be fitting a set of Bosch injectors. They're just brand new OE replacement injectors. And also to then safeguard those new injectors, we're fitting an NRW inline fuel filter kit, which will sit over here has a really nice bracket and uh, you know, filter assembly, uses an aeromotive fuel filter, and basically will safeguard those injectors from any debris getting into them, and basically mean that they are then good for probably the rest of the life of the car. So we'll crack on. Uh, we're gonna use this video as much as it is a chapter about the car. Uh, we're also gonna use it to showcase that NRW product. We're very lucky to be the UK distributors for NRW. So if you need any of their parts, do let us know, especially, of course, including these fuel filter kits. I've had to grab one out of stock very quickly because they keep selling out. Um, we can't keep them on the shelf quick enough. So if you want to jump on our website and order one, do it ASAP and yeah, we can get your order with you nice and quickly. So I'll crack on. We've got a few other bits of tidying up to do while we're under there. So this isn't gonna be a direct step-by-step -step guide or anything like that, but it will allow you to see what's involved, how nice the products are, and basically just give you an idea of another part of E9X M3 ownership. So you'll see in front of me that we've got the engine bay apart. The keen-eyed among you might realise we're doing two videos at once here. So we've just finished doing the throttle actuators. If you want to see more on that particular video, we'll put a link down in the description. But that's done, buttoned up. Obviously the engine's still sat here with the airbox and everything off, ready for injectors and fuel filter. So this is one of the injectors that's going in. It's a Bosch part number and it is genuine Bosch. It's pays uh, to basically check your sources with these. So we list these on our website. You need to source them carefully, as I say, as we do. There's a lot of fake Bosch injectors out there, both direct injection and port injection like these. And a fake injector is definitely gonna ruin your day because A, it won't perform, perform properly. B, it's gonna be more prone to failure. And that is kind of the opposite of what we're trying to do here. So genuine Bosch injectors, they're just a like for like replacement, the same as the factory ones which were Bosch originally, so it's, it's literally just a direct swap. That's not too exciting, but we'll be good to have a bit of peace of mind with that. And then obviously, as mentioned before, this is the main party piece that we've got here, which is the NRW fuel filter kit. So that sits nicely down over there uh, on that side of the engine bay, sits in line. Um, it's a really, really lovely billet piece. Worth noting as well, it puts the fuel pressure sensor after the filter. A lot of people do a kind of DIY, bit of a botch really, of putting a, a fuel filter on these cars. And that never really sorts out where the fuel pressure sensor sits. So with anything like a filter, you can get it with radiators, intercoolers, anything, you get a pressure drop across them. So if your sensor is before the filter, you are not monitoring the actual rail pressure, which is what the ECU is looking for. You're monitoring the pressure before the filter, which 
means all your readings are off, it's probably gonna be misfueling and you know, it's just rubbish basically, it's not done properly. So the NRW kit relocates the filter, to, uh, the pressure sensor to after the filter for accurate readings and it's just a really complete and nice fit and forget item. So we'll crack on. So the injectors are all done. Uh, you will have seen me pop those back together. Nothing too difficult. The worst part of it is just the little wiring clip that holds the plug onto the injector, which can be a bit of a pain to unclip. But um, yeah, all done, all nice and straightforward. Now moving on to the NRW fuel filter kit. So our fuel rail is already disconnected from doing the injectors. Other than that, I haven't touched anything down here, but just been through the kit sort of afresh with a car in front of me. Uh, this is the first one we've done in-house and um, it just looks like a really nice bit of kit. So it's mostly made of three components. You've got the fuel filter assembly itself, which just bolts on here to an existing bolt. You get an extended bolt with the kit, meaning that that all sits on there very nicely. And then you also get a blank for the fuel rail pressure sensor, which is this one here. So you blank that and you move the filter, uh, sorry, the sensor to here, connect up the fuel lines, job done. Really, really easy. So I'll crack on and then we should have this fired up in the next 10 minutes or so. So that's the new fuel injectors and the NRW inline fuel filter kit all fitted. I have already primed the system just to make sure there's no leaks. It does obviously make a lot of sense to uh, make sure you don't have any leaks before you try and start the engine. So there's fuel pressure in the system. Um, it's probably gonna take a little bit longer to get through to the injectors, but we're gonna give it a first fire up and then we should be good to go with finishing reassembly. So that's the car fully back together. So it's ready to hit the road again. Um, it's really, really nice to know that it is now gonna be on the road without that huge risk of injector failure. You know, I think the internet's full of people accusing scaremongering of various people, but it's not something I'd personally risk. And I'm sure many of our customers will be in the same boat. And it's even nicer to know that not only the injector's new, but that I've got that NRW fuel filter kit in there to make sure that they are fed with really clean fuel and that the problem doesn't come up in future. So this car's now ready for many more happy miles and uh, I'm going to go on and crack on and do them as soon as this bloody weather cheers up. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see more of what we do, please like and subscribe. Really, really helps us. And you know, we're hoping to do more with our YouTube channel this year. So keep it coming and we will hopefully give it back in terms of plenty of content.